If you have ever tried to create a light using emission shader in EV, you must have noticed that it illuminates itself, but it does not light any other object nearby. This is because EV does not use path tracing technique that is used by Cycles engine. So, we need one additional step for this kind of lights to work. This is called indirect lighting. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create an indirect lighting, using mesh objects, without an actual light source. Let us start with a new file. And, instead of this default cube, we will add one UV sphere. We will use this sphere as our emission object. Let us also add a monkey, so that we can see the effects of the indirect lighting on this. Just position it somewhere near the sphere, as appropriate. Fine, let us now go to the rendered view mode. The objects are as usual visible, because Blender has added a default light here. Let us delete this light. Nothing is visible now, because there is no light in our scene. We will now add an emission shader for this sphere. So go to the Material tab, and create a new material. Then in the surface type, select, Emission. Now the sphere is visible, it is emitting light as expected, but it does not light the other objects. Even if you try to increase the emission strength, to say 4, its intensity goes up, it now becomes brighter, but it hardly has any effect on our monkey. This is because, as we know, EV does not use path tracing. It uses a static concept of lighting where the indirect light coming from some other object does not get included when an object's color is computed. In order to get this thing work in EV, go to the Add menu, then under the Light Probe, we have this Irradiance Volume, add this. This Irradiance Volume is used by EV to calculate and store the amount of lights present within this specific area, and then it uses the data to compute the color of an object during the render. Now, scale up this volume object so that it covers our light source, and also all the objects which should receive the light from this light source. Position this correctly, as any object or any part of an object, lying outside this volume, will not receive any indirect lighting. We have to now bake this and store the light data. This works like a domain object, in case you have worked with smoke domain. So go to the render properties. You can enable this bloom option, it creates a nice glowing effect around the emission object. Then scroll down to the section called indirect lighting. Expand this, and we can bake the light here, so that EV calculates all the indirect lighting present within this volume. So click on this bake indirect lighting. You can see the progress of our baking here. And now, back to our scene. We can see that the monkey is very well lighted by this emission object. Let us try to change something, maybe the color of this light. So in the materials tab, if we change the color to something in green, we can see that the emission object has immediately changed its color. But this object does not reflect the change of our light color. This happens because EV is still using the old data that it had baked with the white light. To rectify it, or to update this light data, we have to bake it again with this new setup. So go to the render properties, and we need to again bake here. You can delete the old cache, and then start baking. And we can see that the monkey is now lighted with the green light as expected. Likewise, whenever you move the objects, either the emission object or other objects, or maybe you change any properties in the light, every time you need to bake the scene again. So, this was a quick guide on how to create indirect lighting. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.